Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. So I wanted to share a short story with you. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all who's watching and over me and mine. My mom's cousin had given me this pendant necklace. She mailed it to me yesterday in the mail. I had gone up to pray with her and lay hands on her and encourage her. Um, I claim her healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, maybe all of you can pray for her too. Her name's Carolyn. And so I wanted to share a short story with you to encourage you. So I had gone up to talk to her and um, pray with her. And as the Lord always works in amazing uh, ways, I had started to tell her about the story um, of Alicia and how he raised the uh, Shunammite son. This is in Second Kings chapter 4, starting at uh, verse 8. So I want to read this to you real quick, and then I'll share the story. Now, it happened one day that Elisha went to Shunem, where there was a notable woman, and she persuaded him to eat some food. So it was, as often as he passed by, he would turn in there to eat some food. And she said to her husband, Look now, I know that this is a holy man of God who passes by us regularly. Please let us make a small upper room on the wall. And let us put a bed for him there, and a table, and a chair, and a lampstand. So it will be, whenever he comes to us, he can turn in there. And it happened one day that he came there, and he turned into the upper room and lay down there. Then he said to Gehazi, his servant, Call the Shumanite woman. When he had called her, she stood before him. And he said to him, Say now to her, Look, you have been concerned for us with all this care. What can I do for you? Do you want me to speak on your behalf to the king or to the commander of the army? She answered, I dwell among my own people. So he said, What then is to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Actually, she has no son, and her husband is old. So he said, Call her. When he had called her, she stood in the doorway. Then he said, About this time next year you shall embrace a son. And she said, No, my lord, man of God, do not lie to your maidservant. But the woman conceived and bore a son. When the appointed time had come, of which Elisha had told her, and the child grew, now it happened one day, that he went out to his father to the reapers, and he said to his father, My head, my head. So he said to his servant, Carry him to his mother. When he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon, then he died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God, shut the door upon him and went out. Then she called to her husband and said, Please send me one of the young men and one of the donkeys that I may run to the man of God and come back. So he said, Why are you going to him today? It is neither the new moon nor the Sabbath. And she said, It is well. Then she saddled a donkey and said to her servant, Drive and go forward. Do not slacken the pace for me unless I tell you. And so she departed and went to the man of God at Mount Carmel. So it was when the man of God saw her afar off that he said to his servant Gehazi, Look, the Shunammite woman, please run now to meet her and say to her, Is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with the child? And she answers, It is well. Now, when she came to the man of God at the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Gehazi came near to push her away. But the man of God said, Let her alone, for her soul is in deep distress and the Lord has hidden it from me and has not told me. So she said, Did I ask a son of my Lord? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? Then he said to Gehazi, Get yourself ready and take my staff in your hand and be on your way. If you meet anyone, do not greet him. And if anyone greets you, do not answer him, but lay my staff on the face of the child. 
And the mother of the child said, As the Lord lives, and as my soul lives, I will not leave you. So he arose and followed her. Now Gehazi went on ahead of them and laid the staff on the face of the child, but there was neither voice nor hearing. Therefore he went back to meet him and told him, saying, The child has not awakened. When Elisha came into the house, there was a child lying on the bed. He went in, therefore, shut the door behind the two of them and prayed to the Lord. And he went up and lay on the child and put his mouth on his mouth, his eyes on his eyes, his hands on his hands, and he stretched himself out on the child, and the flesh of the child became warm. He returned and walked back and forth in the house and again went up and stretched himself out on him. Then the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, Call the Shunammite woman. So he called her, and when she came into him, he said, Pick up your son. So she went in, fell at his feet, and bowed to the ground. Then she picked up her son and went out. Anyway, I was sharing this story with Carolyn and encouraging her that when she had doubt or fear to say it is well. Um, she has another report coming soon, and I just wanted to encourage her with this story. And when I left her house, I got in my car, and I had a Christian channel on my Pandora. I turned my car on, and the song It Is Well came up by Bethel Music. I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, so I sent it to her because God works in mysterious ways. It's amazing how he works. I sent it to her, so she sent me this um, pendant necklace. I noticed when I received the necklace that it had little knots in the chain. As I sat in my car and unraveled the knots, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and put upon my heart, that when we have troubles, sorrows, sicknesses in life, he reminded me that these are like the knots in this pendant necklace chain. And he wants us to give him our worries, our strifes, our sorrows, our concerns. And we are not to have fear because in 2 Timothy 1, 7, it says, for God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And Jesus is the great physician. In Isaiah 53, 5, it says, by his stripes, we are healed. I just wanted to encourage you today with what the Lord had shared with me while I unraveled this necklace. We all struggle. We all have things that we're carrying around with us, but he wants us to come to him and to give him our burdens and give him our cares. He loves us so very much, and we have to have faith that nothing is impossible to God. God bless you all in Christ. Amen.